<sighs> Good evening, my friend. Okay, I'm about to wash my feet. Look, this is the barrel I got at my grandparents' home. Okay. So, oh, I was going to take a shower, but I'm kind of lazy to do that. I didn't really sweat today at the workout. I had a really solid back and um, bicep workout with my friend, but we didn't really. I mean, I I didn't sweat. He he sweated a little bit. Oh man. Water is kind of hot. Okay, so on the way back, I listened to Tom Bilo's Impact Theory podcast, and it was about how to unfuck your life in ten ways in twenty twenty four, and I only listened to it for like eight minutes. I mean, things he talked about in that episode was not something new. I have listened to his podcast many times, and I believe he have he had repeated many messages over and over because they are basically truth, you know, in terms of living a good life. Productive life. For example, he suggests people to go to sleep by nine p.m. I mean, it was not his advice. I have been doing this since twenty seventeen, when I was twenty two years old. I just made that drastic change to my lifestyle after I. Spent two months in Shanghai with my friend. We partied almost every night. We would go clubbing, and went to sleep around noon. Sometimes even in the afternoon, only for like two three hours. Sometimes we probably didn't even sleep for the like entire day, and just went back to school. I mean, we were taking some classes. During the summer, and that just really put me into a perspective of just you know fucking up my body from drinking every day, smoking a lot, and not sleeping. Yeah, did a lot of crazy stuff to my body, and yeah, that was a really important. Transition to me. I changed because I felt really bad. I felt not well physically, and yeah. So I have made changes many times actually. So now till this point, till today, I feel very easy. You know, going to bed at an early time. It doesn't take too much discipline for me, cause I enjoy going to sleep. And it is eight, almost eight thirty, twenty twenty three actually. And today it's January thirteenth. Ah,、uh, yeah. So another thing he mentioned in that episode was he would stop eating and drinking. By two p.m., and that is like really early, and a lot of people just don't understand why he needs to do that. I personally definitely experienced a lot of benefits of you know regulating food and water intake. For me, I would stop drinking water by five. Five thirty. So I would not need to wake up in the middle of the night and go to pee, which would always disrupt my sleep. It's kind of difficult. Not every time, 
to fall back to sleep. And even though I'm able to fall back to sleep, I have experienced a few times that I woke up around 3 or even like 4.30, which is like very close to my alarm ringing time. My alarm rings off at 5.30, sometimes 5, you know, depends on the weather and, you know, just my schedule. So if I woke up near the alarm ringing off time, it's, there's a chance that I won't be able to get up. I won't be able to actually, actually um, wake up from the alarm. Because I just went back to sleep and fell asleep again. And I probably would fall back to like deep sleep. And yeah, so what I'm trying to say is like a lot of things he talked about in his podcast was something that I want to talk about. And he's really that person who I look up to the most. His content, his channel, his podcast, everything. They're so good and just examples for me to learn and study. I'm aware that my articulation skills are not close to his. As a native speaker, he got this talent of articulating himself. He mentioned that. And that's why he actually got really good with practicing and doing podcasts, talking to people for so many years. I believe he's almost 50 years old. So to me, this is actually encouraging, knowing his age and all these years he put into this work, like building a platform, putting out content, talking to speakers, guest, guest speakers. He had accumulated so much experience and he knew exactly how to motivate people, especially young people. He knows how to do it really well because he has done it so many times. He has talked to so many people and he has a very good understanding of people's difficulties and struggles in terms of when it comes to self-development, when it comes to self-help and personal development, he knows really well. He knows the topic really well. He knows what actually works and what might not work for everybody. He's very clear on his words. And I really admire that. I want to equip myself with that kind of skills in front of the camera. I want to put out myself and make some impact like he does. I don't allow myself to overthink and I'm trying every time to just express myself from my gut. And I might have made a lot of, you know, inappropriate or grandma mistakes, inappropriate words, phrases. I might have used them wrongly. And that's totally fine for me because I understand I will learn, I will be able to watch it later and make changes. And the important thing is I got to do more 
I gotta do them often, every day. Sometimes I just got hooked by my phone. I would not feel motivated enough to, you know, take out my camera and record a video. Yeah, it's like working out. Sometimes I don't feel like working out, but I gotta do it, man. Anyway, I just feel like talking before my meditation. Now I just finished washing my feet. I'm gonna take out the water and then come back meditate. All right. I don't know if I mentioned January thirteenth, twenty twenty four. Today is my mom is back from Shanghai. I don't know if there's a plan for tomorrow, Sunday. I believe the weather will be very good as well. Recently, the weather just gets really warm and sunny, which is a blessing. Especially for my grandparents, they need sunshine. You know, everybody needs sunshine, right? But sometimes my grandparents, my grandpa especially, he wouldn't leave the house. He would just stay on the balcony, and the sun will just be very good, you know, for him. He just sit there and enjoying the sun. Without getting the house, getting out of the house, it is a blessing. Yeah. Anyway, I could be talking more, but I need to go to sleep very soon. So it's eight thirty-one. Okay, I'll see you in my meditation video.